All right, guys, we are going to do maybe a, a part uh, series on how to get that lag on the forehand. So this one is going to be another great drill that you guys could do. You could do it on your own, or could have someone like me feed to someone like Nick. So we're gonna have Nick, uh, just so you know where court placement we are on in right now, we are in uh, the doubles alley on the deuce side, and what Nick's gonna do is try to hit with his racket head, with the racket head spin, and try to angle the ball across court. The, the thing that we saw in the last video was that Nick was getting his fist forward, great, but he was bringing his racket head back too soon. So he was here and not getting that snap of the wrist bringing it here. So we need to get him to point to the camera and really feel that racket kind of going through like that. So that's the one thing we're gonna really focus on, more racket head speed. So that's the whole point of this, right? To get extra racket head speed. So let's take a look and see how he does. Here we go. All right, so we're not changing anything. We're just putting him in a different position where he has to hit the ball uh, cross court and dip it into the uh, service box on the other side. So the point is that he's kind of forced to really hit the ball with a lot more rack head speed and come over it and get that spin. So the only way to really do that is to relax the grip and let the fist go forward and you know let the rack head lag behind. So as you can see, he's trying to do that. And we're going to continue working on this uh, even more with another step to getting this even better. So check it out. Good. So the whole idea is that we need to make sure that everyone's seeing that is the fist activates everything. So you're here, and the reason why this starts moving is because the fist. The fist activates everything. So once you're here, then the rack ahead will lag behind the handle and eventually catch up to it and it's gonna swing over, right? And that's just like if I was having a car and tied a rope to Nick and I'm driving and he's on a skateboard and I take a big turn, that's gonna be a quick, he's gonna come around that turn really quick and that's what the rack ahead is doing after the turn of the, of the handle going forward. So that's kind of what we're trying to look at. So let's do a few more, okay? All right, back up one step, thank you. All right, so just so, so you can see how it is in regular motion, uh, regular speed, and he is definitely getting better at this, but we're gonna try one more thing to improve this. Good, last thing we're gonna try something a little bit different, um, Tomic, Tomic, he does his forehand more like this, and then goes there, so we're gonna really exaggerate just so we can get a really good feel for it. So if you're still not feeling this, try what Nick's about to do, okay? So you're gonna point to the fence, yeah, there you go, like that, and then just, all right, so this is supposed to get uh, Nick to exaggerate his swing a little bit, and uh, you can see some of the pros actually do this, but it really just um, reinforces the idea that you're going to get some really fast rack head speed if you just relax and let that racket kind of whip over. And the more you can point that rack ahead towards the towards the net where you're going to hit it, uh, the better it'll be. Now, timing is definitely important, and you can tell that uh, Nick's, you know, just trying to get that feel right now, and it's new to him, obviously. So it's going to be tough, but try it out. Maybe you'll get a feel. Maybe it'll work out a little better. Or something will click. you got to try new things, and I'm hoping that this might be it. So give it a shot, and hopefully it'll help. And go. Boom. Burr, beautiful. So the idea is to progressively build him further back, feed, and all that, and just seeing how he does. So I will, I'm going to be feeding him deep, and then I'm going to, and then we're going to hit back and forth, just like the last videos. But I thought this would be a really good drill. Um, a lot of uh, high-level players have told me that their coaches have done this one, so I like it too. Kind of helps with the getting that rack ahead speed. So give it a shot. Hopefully that helps. All right. So this is the last bit to see if Nick can put this in play with just feeding. We haven't done live ball yet, but as you can see, he's really putting that racket head, uh, the top of the racket head, pointing to the net. And I really like that because it really allows him to get that, yeah, get that uh, uh, wrist uh, to move forward with his fists and just relax and let that racket just come over the ball naturally. It takes a lot of practice, but he's definitely getting the hang of it. So uh, you can see the racket head speed of, of it is much faster than last time. So uh, give it a shot. Hopefully it's going to help you guys. And um, we'll just keep working on our end and trying to give more content and help you guys keep improving your game.